And I'm like, fine, go ahead and do it. It ain't going to be that great. Best decision I never made. Best decision, <laughs> Best decision we'd ever made was what? The suspension on suspension, the van? Suspension, yeah, because I didn't want to do, I didn't want to put that kind of money yeah. into something I, I, I couldn't see, right? Right. Because it's suspension and the, it only had 7,000 miles on it. Yeah. It had the body lift, but Jared said, um, you need to do it. Otherwise, your issue isn't going to stop. Yeah. And, and uh, what was the issue that you guys were... It was kind like of wavy. It was, it was wavy as you were driving? Wavy and we were worried about the bike handles hitting the windows. Okay, and we're talking about the so high roof extended relax. length here. Yes, so and we so relax and enjoy our trip. Yeah. Because there was a lot of stress with that. Yeah. Motion, motion from front to back. So it's like riding wave. Right. And uh, But if you beef up and do suspension upgrades, yeah. it stops that so that you can go over those swells on the highway and you don't have that issue. Right. Which then everything isn't swaying in the van or on the back of the van, the bicycle. So it's not just for off-roading. No, no. Gosh, no. no. Yeah. No. I mean, today's highways and with the heat we have and places yeah. like Antelope Canyon, Utah, yeah. the Grand Canyon, those you're, you're riding the waves or the you're doing a suspension. Okay. So it stopped your stuff from inside from swinging so much and then stopped probably car sickness Best a little bit. decision I never made. Jared was because Jared it. offered it for you. Spent, so. <laughs> well, you want to give me a quick tour of what's going on inside? I want to see all the stuff, the DIY stuff, because it, I, I peeked in earlier and it looked like you had put a bunch of touches that everybody needs to see, just even layout wise. So layout wise, yeah. Uh, we keep all our clothes. Okay. So we don't have to bring a suitcase. Is that a specific so brand nice. that we should Hat know about? Here. Okay. Um, love it. So we can keep all our clothes in there. Yeah. And um, we have just our well, nice little paper towel holder. Nice and tidy. This is a kind of our tool area. Okay. To keep it all organized that way. Very cool. We did just add the shelves down here. Which oh we wow. Love. Okay. So you did a big Dometic mm -hmm. dual, big zone. Dometic, dual zone. And that way you can have like a fridge, freezer, or both. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. And we were gonna add this time, but forgot to bring it. Was our smaller Dometic. Okay. So you got we two. Just put drinks in that. Oh, the, yeah, that's important. Sorry. But okay. So you got like drawers on the underside. Yep. And so we can keep our <coughs> pots and pans in there. That's easy cool. Access. I've not seen that before. And then we got rid of the extra down here for the kitchen pod that we have our okay. sink. Okay. Oh, so you just mounted the sink top pod. Oh, you're good. And so there's no bottom to it. No bottom you to it. You just mounted it. just did the sink. Wow. So more storage. Okay, and then we got a fold up thing here. Fold up, and then we separated our beds instead of okay. underneath each other. That way we could lower his a little bit sure. more. Plus this could be a couch. Yeah, during the day. Yeah, flip it up. And yeah. Okay. You got the bulkhead shelf. Bulkhead shelf. We like all that. Uh, yeah. Like all our bike stuff up there. That's amazing. Okay, what's all those gizmos? Is that like a molly panel? And what this is, is that? This is a good hack. Okay. This is a bottle carrier a for bottle your bike. Carrier. Yeah. Okay. So we keep our soap in there. you just mounted on yep. the hanging And cabinet. then we added this just recent because everybody needs a shaving okay, mirror. Okay, so you just add this own stuff. We did. Me. So we've got a shaving mirror. Shaving mirror? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love that. Okay, do you guys use this gear slide much that I'm seeing we here? We do use the gear slide. Okay. And that just pulls that off the back, out. right? Sometimes we have four bikes. So two four road bikes. bikes inside and four, two out. Okay. Uh, two mountain bikes, and two road bikes. And then you got bike. another storage tower here. We do. And then we keep our blackstone And you guys are just here. using the heck out of this bungee. Yeah. Oh, Rick did add this. It's another table. Okay, just a fold-up oh, one. Mm -hmm. That's handy. Okay, nice little power strip. Yep. And we have another power strip over there we added. Okay, very cool. Yeah. That's very, 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 very cool. Now, to go up to our I'm going to say, you told me about one of the best features of this van, which is your reading nook. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want to take a look at it. <laughs> so the reading nook yes. would be up there. Yes. Now tell me about that. Is that everything you thought it would be? It's everything I thought, and more. And so more. It's pretty wide. You can get two adults up there okay so like queen size or a little size okay the mattress super like comfortable like more comfortable than you thought more comfortable down here wow it's really good so it's like a full mattress like you wouldn't expect do you, do you mind if i climb up there a little bit okay so we're just that's okay so telescoping ladder here oh and it just hooks on to these hinges nice yeah, I see what you mean. It's like a full-on mattress. And 
Okay. Oh, I see that. Yeah, the LED up there. Very cool. Yeah. So I used to uh, climb up in trees when I was a little girl and read. Okay. So this is perfect. So this gives you the climbing in the tree effect. This is the climbing in the tree effect, and you can watch the sun going down <laughs> over there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's awesome. Well, and then you got the external solar. So how much do you have on the roof? And like, did you find that you needed this extra? Uh, we did find that we needed extra. We've been thinking about on top of the rooftop yeah. to put some more solar panels. Okay, so it looks like you got 200 watts on the roof. And then you have another 120 or 200 here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then that gives you what you need. Yep. And then you're running what? Like a lithium power system? Lithium. Uh -huh. Okay, so you got the Kami Master with the... 2000 watt inverter 400 amp hours of lithium back there very cool well awesome well thanks for showing me around <laughs> any other pro tips any any traveling pro tips you want to offer <laughs> retire and jump in the van and just retire. keep going you jump know? in the Part -time van retire <laughs> or weekend retire yeah, yeah. Or go out in your driveway and sleep in it once in a while just so you feel like you're retired. Yeah. yeah. What's been one of your guys' favorite like travel memories I so think far? It was to go get it. Like, to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Driving down from Whitefish, Montana, and going into um, where's it? Uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. So, but we because the windshield and the windows and these things are so big, I'll never forget this. We've been driving for about a day. And we're going through the mountain ranges and following the rivers. Yeah. And I looked at her and I said, I feel like I'm in a snow globe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's so scenic. Yeah. In the middle of Montana in a snow globe. It yeah. just doesn't get enough. That's it's awesome. It's a real moment. And we were going through uh, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And it was raining in front of us. The sun was setting behind us. Yeah. And there was a rainbow, and there was a train to the right, and I'll never forget it because we sent that picture to our family. And yeah, said, oh, you're in heaven. They said we're you're jealous. You're in heaven right now. We said yes, we are. That's awesome. That's pretty it. much being in a snow globe. <laughs> just so, have you guys day. always traveled in RVs and stuff, or is this like your first? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we okay. Slept, we slept in Toyota Highlanders. Yeah. We're kind of a Boy Scout family. Uh, okay. And we were just simply tired of sleeping on the ground yeah. yeah that's really but but we were in a fifth wheel big you know i wanted to be able to get in and get out of bicycle events or camping events or, yeah you know we looked at all the different vans that are out there all the different companies yeah and so one day he looked at me we found van do it and we're like mm, date date Let's drive up to Blue Springs. Okay. We drove up there. Okay. And we checked out the factory, checked out the company, and Allison drove Minnesota. a couple. Yeah. And we were just like, this is it. Yeah. And we That's took awesome. our picture in front of Van Duet's sign. <laughs> we were like, one day. That's amazing. We will be yeah. Van Duet family. That was like a year so, ahead of us. That was. So how would you say, this might be a broad question, but like, how has the van impacted y'all's life, mm -hmm. if at all, you know? Well, from a community of friends and family standpoint what community yeah. <laughs> but, but, but this company literally you become part of a family part of a community yeah and we rented mercedes we, we toured other places we checked everything out but the difference is the culture in the company i don't mm. know any other company that goes as far as they go for their customers and I, and I, you know, I don't, I can't say I've never been told no, but I can tell you it may have been once on a small issue or two, <laughs> but, but, but they'll do, they'll bend themselves backwards to make things come out okay for, sure. for you as a customer. And that's just unheard of in today's world. They like dream just doesn't with happen. you. So they dream with you. As you dream, they yeah. dream how to make it happen. Yeah. And that's amazing. I mean, that's really. And it sounds like you guys have had some, some pretty significant memories going to oh, fall yeah. in the rivers and yeah. snow globes. And we've <laughs> only had it a year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and you know, how much more do we got? We got everywhere to go. Memories now, with so. our son in it, going to Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And they're just going to keep going. Yeah. And we can just keep trading up to the next one or the next one. Because they're, they're growing, you know. Sure. They're, they're learning as they go. And we're just going to go along with them for the ride. There so you go. Well, thank you guys so much for showing us around. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs>